of your mat. Bring your big toes to touch, knees wide. And if you know this isn't um, comfortable for you, then take another variation. But we're just gonna bring our elbows to the ground and then bend the elbows, bring the palms together, and bring the hands back towards the head. And we're just gonna take a couple of breaths here. So you can walk those elbows a little bit further forward, depending on how much of a stretch you need and then just settle in. Straight away, arise. Start to deepen your breath. Maybe close down your eyes, allow your hips, your sit bones to sink further back towards the heels. Take another breath here. And then release your hands. Bring your palms down to the ground and walk your fingertips forward slightly, really lifting up through the arms, staying on the fingertips, keeping the forehead either on the mat or slightly off the floor. Breathing into the left and right side of the body, all the way from the fingertips up to the armpits, into the body. Inhale, come up onto knees, high knees here, keeping the hips lifted, walk those hands forward again, coming into our puppy posture. Now you can keep the arms off the ground or you can bring the forearms down the elbows and again, bending at the elbows, bringing the hands up behind the head or keeping those hands on the floor. Taking a breath, breathing deep. Breathing into the shoulders, allowing the shoulders to wrap around. So it's like you have this external rotation, the shoulders are rolling out left and right. Inhale, coming up, walking your hands back, curl your toes under, lift those hips, and coming into our down dog. So when you arrive here, just Notice any movement that you need. So if you want to pedal the feet, shift the hips from side to side, bend and straighten the legs. Just take some movement and then pause. Clawing through those fingertips. Again, allowing those shoulders to drop away from the ears. Almost like you're trying to bring your elbows towards the floor. Relax through the head. And then soft bend in the knees and a slow walk up to the front of your mat. And you can take as many steps as you need, feet gently apart, and then folding forwards. Holding on to the opposite elbow, maybe just shifting left to right. Really bend the knees here. Holding on to the elbows, tucking the chin into the chest. Keep hold of those elbows as you roll up. Then release the hands, take them all the way up above the head. Palms come to touch. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Bring one hand onto your heart, the other on the top. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, round down through the feet. Have this upward lift through the front of the body. On your next inhale, drop the hands down, take them all the way up. Exhale, folding forwards. Halfway lift, soften into the knees. Exhale, folding back down, planting the hands, stepping both feet back, coming into plank pose. 
lowering the knees, chest and chin, sliding forward into our cobra. And exhaling, making your way back into downward dog. Take three breaths here. On your next exhale, bending through the knees, looking forwards, making your way back up, forward fold. Again, holding on to the opposite elbow. Hang out here just for a breath. On your next inhale, tuck the chin, roll up. Hands come down by the waist. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, folding all the way back down. Halfway lift. Maybe thighs, maybe onto the shins. Exhale to fold, planting the hands, stepping back into plank. Strong here. Push away from the floor. Lower the knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, making your way back into down dog. Take a breath. Back through the head. Soften through the knees, looking forward, stepping forward, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Hold on to the opposite elbow, tuck the chin, soften through the knees. Inhale. Allow there to be a little bit of weight in those elbows. Then take the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, folding back down, stepping back into plank. Either lower ch uh, knees, chest and chin, or maybe now chaturanga. Two upward facing dog or cobra, your choice. And we'll meet back in our downward facing dog. Another breath here. Anchor through that right foot. Inhale, lift the left leg up behind you. Swiggle that left foot for a moment. Push the heel away. And then bend into that left knee and bring that left foot all the way to the outside of the left hand. If you need to lower that right knee to get there, do. And then lower that right knee down. Come on to the top of that right foot. Inhale into our lizard pose. Take a breath. Exhale, folding forward. So you can either keep your hands on the floor. Maybe your elbows can come to the ground. Maybe you just bend into your elbows and lower your chest towards the floor. So I'm just going to take it to the other side so you can see. You might be here or here. Inhale, moving with the breath. Open up through the chest. Exhale, it might be that you just start to bend slowly. Maybe you're on fingertips and you bring the hands to the floor. Maybe you can really bend those elbows, bringing the forehead down to the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift one more. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, push through the hands. Curl the back toes under this left foot. Now you're gonna bring the left heel towards the front of this right thigh, just so when you come forward, you can then lower the left knee towards the left wrist, coming into our lizard pose. Come on to the top of that right foot. Inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale again, maybe bending the elbows, bringing the forehead to the floor and moving 
here as you inhale and exhale. Or feel free if you want to bring those forearms down to the ground, resting the head and just taking a few breaths here. Releasing off through the wrists. Then feel free. So it's entirely up to you. Decide what you need, what energy you have, whether you need to increase or let go. Maybe you just need to pause. The next time you fold forwards, coming forwards onto the arms, and we're going to stay here for two breaths. Just notice where the hips are, maybe shifting over towards the right. So just see if you can level the hips, feel that stretch in that left glute in our piriformis muscle. So this really helps if you have sciatica or problems there where it really starts to become quite tense. Now then we're going to come up onto the hands, breathe in, and then from here, just bring your left hip to the floor so that you can spin yourself around. The right foot is out, the left foot is in towards the body. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, right hand reaches across towards the left side, taking the left arm over towards the toes. So again, they don't have to really reach here. Don't feel like you need to force anything. Just take a stretch. Your head can be gazing towards the floor, towards the bottom leg, out in front, maybe up towards the upper arm. Relax through those shoulders, inhale. Coming all the way back up, bringing the hands back down towards the left side. You're gonna roll your body over, center yourself back on your mat, and then send that left foot all the way back up in towards the sky. Bring it back down to the earth and take a little flow here. Moving through Cobra or Upward Facing Dog and taking a few breaths in your Down Dog. So we're going to stay in Down Dog, three breaths. Just changed direction on my mat, stay where you are. Just take a couple of breaths here. Breathing deep into the body, navel drawing back towards the spine. Anchor down through that left foot, inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Take a moment here, rotating through that right foot. And then bringing this right foot all the way to the outside of the right hand. Lower the left knee down, come onto the top of the left foot. Taking our lizard pose here. Opening up through the chest, maybe you're on fingertips. Maybe you come up off the wrist for a moment. If you need to circle the wrist, then please do. Let's take a moment to breathe. You can turn the toes out of this right foot if you need to. And then slowly, either bending down through the elbows, coming down here and moving with the breath, just like we did in that lizard pose. Or feel free, if you want to, you can bring the forearms down and be here, or maybe staying up on that left hand and you're using this right hand to push that right knee away leaning back slightly. So your choice, you find a position in this pose that works for you. Finding your breath, breathing deep, relaxing through the shoulders. One more breath here. And then coming up, curl the left toes under, lifting that left leg, and then bringing this right leg across the front of the left body, uh, the left leg, sorry, 
and then bring that right knee behind the right wrist, arriving in our lizard pose. Open up through the chest, come on to the top of that back foot. And again, feel free, you could be on the fingertips here, you could be wide with the shoulders, and you're moving with the breath, taking a bit of pressure out of the wrists by being on the fingertips. Maybe you decide to fold all the way forwards here. Resting the forehead down and taking a few moments to breathe, to pause. Again, just noticing the hips. Are you shifting the weight out of the stretch? Can you start to level those hips off? Take a few more breaths here. On your next inhale, coming up, shifting your weight over onto your right hip. Rolling all the way over, bringing the right foot in towards the body, left foot out. Inhale, take the arms up. Left arm reaches across to the right hip or the right knee and gently folding over, stretching towards the left side. Breathing deep. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming all the way back up, reaching both arms up, turn towards the right side, bring your hands back down, transition back over. Inhale, reach that right leg up, bring the right leg back to the floor, coming into our down dog, and then moving through your vinyasa. Meeting back in our down dog. Taking a full conscious breath here. Exhale, lowering the knees down. Shifting the feet to one side, coming over onto your bottom. Bringing the feet out in front of you. Straightening through the legs, flexing through the toes. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, folding over the legs. If you need to bend into the knees, please do. Coming into our Paschimottanasana, our seated forward fold. Lengthening through the lower back, finding that root down through the back of the legs and allowing your hands wherever they're placed to perhaps be like an anchor trying to draw you a little bit closer towards your legs. Inhale, slowly rolling up. As you do, bending into this left leg, holding on to the outside of this left foot with your right hand. Inhale, take that left foot long. So really pushing into the right hand, take the right hand behind you, uh, left hand behind you, sorry. Flexing through that right leg. So everything is switched on. Full breath here. Exhale, release. Come back, release this left foot. Cross it over to the right side of the leg. Bring the left hand behind you. Bring in the right elbow on the inside of the thigh. Just taking a twist here. Really good for the digestive system. And coming back through center. Release, coming to the other side. So bending that right leg, bring this left hand across to the outside of that right foot. 
Inhale, push into that left hand, lengthen, and then send the right hand behind you. Active here through both legs. Have this lift through the spine, reaching back through that right hand. And exhale, release. Bringing right foot over to the left side. Left elbow crosses over, right hand behind you. Use this as your anchor as you twist towards the right. Really starting to open up the chest out. Relax through the shoulders. Coming back through centre. Releasing the feet down, you can shake off the legs a little bit. Rubbing into the thighs, bending the knees. Holding on to the back of the thighs, shifting the weight back slightly so you can lift your feet, maybe bringing the shins parallel to the ceiling. You can flex through the feet or pushing into the toe mounts to the base of the toes. Anchor in, navel draws back. Inhale, reach the arms out. Inhale, lower, straighten through the legs, straighten through the arms. Maybe you can come towards the floor. Exhale, draw them back up into our boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, boat. Feel that shake. Inhale, lower. Exhale, boat. Two more. Inhale, lower. Lower all the way down. Reach the arms all the way up above the head. Take a full stretch here. Breathing into the belly, really expand that belly, stretching into the tummy. Exhale, release. Walking the feet over towards the right side of your mat. And then walking your, um, sorry, walking your feet over to the left side of your mat, lifting your hips slightly and walking your hands over towards the left side of your mat, coming into our banana stretch. You can cross that right leg over the left if you want to, holding on to this right wrist and just gently stretching over into the right side, into the ribs, into the shoulders. Coming back through centre, lifting the hips to the left, walking the feet to the right bottom corner. Lifting head and shoulders to the right, holding on to the left wrist. Just taking the stretch this side, you can cross the left leg over if you want a little bit more. And slowly coming back. Centering yourself, bending through the knees. Planting the feet on the floor. Inhale, rolling through the spine. Start to lift those hips. As the hips come up, maybe rolling the shoulders underneath. Anchoring down through the hands. You can interlace the hands here. Pushing up, maybe coming onto the toes. Having a little bit more height. Breathing into the belly. Exhale, release, releasing the hips down, bringing the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little bit of a squeeze. Crossing the ankles, maybe holding on to the outside of the feet. And we're going to start to rock all the way up into a seat. Then release the feet down, rolling forward, lifting the legs, coming back into our downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Notice that heat in the center in towards the body. 
So walk up to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Bend, soften through the knees. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Just pause here for a moment. Notice how you feel. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding back down, bending into the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Coming into our chair pose, you can tuck the tailbone under, draw a navel back towards the spine, reaching with the arm, maybe taking up a bit more space here. Shift the weight over towards the left side, peel the right foot off the ground, and then step that right foot back, coming into our high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, arrive. Dropping right hand down, right hand reaches forward, left hand comes back, coming into our twist. Drop the left hand down, reaching up. Right hand comes back, left hand forward, strong through the legs. Open twist. Drop the right hand down, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart. Keeping this little bounce into the legs here, shifting the weight forward, coming all the way into your one-legged Tadasana. Right foot is still lifted. Crossing right ankle over left knee. Gently bending at the hips, sending the hips down. Pausing here, awareness in this right foot. Take a breath, find a focus. You can lower further down, coming into a forward fold here. If you want to bring in the hands to the floor, maybe you're here hovering. And a really nice stretch in that right thigh, the right butt cheek. Take another breath. Inhale, coming up. Release that right leg, coming back to our mountain pose. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold in forms. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold in back down. Inhale, sweep the arms back up, coming into our chair pose. Navel draws in. Sinking the hips down, shifting the weight to the right side now. Balancing on that right foot, lifting the left. And then send the left foot back, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, left hand forward, right hand back. Strong through the legs, drop the right hand down, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand back, right hand forward. Drop the left hand down, inhale, reach. Maybe you keep the arms here, maybe at your heart, your choice. Bounce in the legs, coming all the way up. One legged Tadasana. Crossing right ankle, uh, left ankle over right knee, bending into the hips. Take a seat. Maybe keeping the arms reaching out. Maybe bringing the hands to the heart, leaning forward slightly. Active in that left leg. Inhale, coming up, releasing the left leg down. Exhale, arise. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold your forwards. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, folding back down, bringing the hands to the earth, stepping back into our plank pose. Chaturanga into upward facing dog, making our way back into downward facing dog. Take a breath here, breathing deep. Lowering knees down, big toes to touch, knees wide, sinking those hips back. Taking a moment to pause. Notice your heartbeat, that heat, that energy that you've created. Breathing deep into the belly, into the ribs, into the heart. Inhale, coming all the way up onto all fours. Let's go adjust my mat slightly. Okay, so coming onto all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, navel drawing up towards the spine, pushing away with the hands. So if the wrists become a little bit niggly here, again, feel free, you can always roll your mat off and have your hands coming off top of the mat. You can come onto fists briefly just to Allow a little bit of stretch into the wrist. So finding that foundation, just going to work into these legs a little bit, into the hips. Inhale, push away. From here, just start to lift that left knee off the floor, hovering, and then lift it out to the side. And then draw it back in without it touching the floor. So you're drawing it towards the right leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift. Notice if you're dropping into the arms, dropping into the right side. Just keep going, just a couple more. One more here. Exhale, lower, lowering the knee down, shifting the hips back. And just circling through the wrists, maybe wiggling the fingers. Coming all the way back up. Planting the hands, briefly coming onto fists, stretching through the shoulders, the forearms. And then planting the hands back down, going to the right side. Inhale, lifting the knee out to the right. Hopefully, maybe level with the hips. And then drawing that right knee back in. Inhale, lift. Navel draws back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. A few more. And then lowering right knee down, shifting hips back, reaching forwards with the hands, again, circling the hands. Just a little bit more here on hands and knees before we come down onto the belly. So planting hands underneath the shoulders, again, briefly coming onto the fists if you need to, stretch through the wrists. This time go back to the same that we just did, but we're just gonna take it a little bit further. 
the navel draws in. We're going to inhale, lift the left knee out, and then draw it towards the left elbow. Bring it back, drop it down. Inhale, lift, bring it forward, bring it back, drop it down. Bring in the breath with you. Two more. Navel draws in. And shifting those hips back. Again, wiggling through the wrists. Inhale, coming back up. One more on the right side. Inhale. Start to lift that right knee out, right knee to right elbow, back out and drop it down. Lift to the right elbow, lifting back up, dropping it down. So building strength in the hips, in the bottom, and just bending a few moments here, building this strength just helps us in our other poses, other activities. One more. Lowering down, reaching the hips back, reaching the hands forward, dropping the head. Full breath. Inhale, coming up and then lowering your chest all the way down to the floor. Reach your arms back behind you, palms facing up now. Just take a moment to squeeze and let go with the hands. Squeezing the fingers into a fist and let go. And then bringing the shoulders back up, framing the head. So centering yourself on the mat. Reach your hands out in front of you. They don't have to be super straight, so you can have a bend in the elbow. We're going to lift alternate arm to the leg. So we're going to inhale, lift left arm, lift right leg. Look out slightly. Exhale, lower and switch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Move with the breath. Two more to each side. Last one. Bring the hands back. Reaching back behind you, bend into both knees, maybe holding on to the outside of the feet or the inside. Feel free to do one at a time. Inhale, lift. Lifting heart, chest, legs off the floor. Exhale, lower. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Inhale, rolling back. Curl the toes under. Making your way back into our downward dog. Shaking off through the head. Rocking the hips gently from side to side. Inhale here. Exhale release. Walking the hands back towards the feet. Tucking the chin. Rolling up through the spine. Coming into Tadasana. A mountain pose, back of the mat. Notice how you feel. Then making sure you've got a bit of space around you. 
First thing we're going to do is interlace the fingers. And we're just going to do a little bit of a Mexican wave with the hands. Just trying to get a little bit of stretch into the wrists, into the forearms. So you can go as slow and as much as you want with the arms. You can really invite those arms in. And then shake them off. Okay, bringing your hands to your hips, just maybe close your eyes here, feet a little bit wider than hip distance, just doing some circles here into the hips. You can take them all the way back, all the way to the left and forward, so you can really slow it down. And then take it the other way. Nice, gentle movement. And then spiraling back. Coming all the way back to standing. Notice how these hips are feeling. And then find your Tadasana. A little bit of space in between the feet. Rooting down, lifting up. Relax through the shoulders. We're going to shift the weight over to the right side. Reaching or lifting this left knee up towards the ceiling, coming into our one-legged Tadasana. Left hand on the inside of that left knee and just open it up slightly. Take a breath here. You can always lift this right arm up if you want to. Nice bit of a counterbalance. You can be at your heart, maybe on your hip. Then bring this left knee back to center. Keeping this knee bent, you're gonna reach for the outside of your left foot, okay? So this can be a challenge. So if you can't get here, it might be that you hold your shin, okay? So we're gonna anchor, we're gonna to start to lift up and just see if you can start to stretch that left foot out. Left hand behind you, coming into our balance here. So just think, this is what we do when we're seated on the floor. We've done it today. So working into this standing leg, can you lift, extend, and then release. Shake it off. We're gonna come back into this leg again. My mat's really playing up today. Okay, come into this leg again. So start to lift up through the left, um, left knee. This time your left hand's gonna come down. Maybe you can hold onto your left toe, maybe the shin, maybe you come back to what we just did, opening the foot out to the side. Maybe you can use your peace finger and thumb, hook around that left toe, start to stand up a little bit taller. Maybe you can start to straighten the leg out. <laughs> Maybe you can come into this pose here, reaching the left leg out, standing strong. You can have a bent knee here, you might be here. Take one more breath, exhale, release. Shake it off, shake it off through that right leg. Definitely need a firmer floor. It's nice having cushioned carpet, but not when you're trying to do balancing poses. Okay, from here again, inhale, have that lift. Lifting through the soles of the feet, relax through the shoulders. Peeling the right foot off the floor. Find that balance there first. Maybe you practice just opening this right knee out. You can always come into a tree pose if that's what you'd rather hear. Then draw it back through center, crossing over, left hand to the outside of that right foot. Extend that foot in front of you. Take the right hand back behind you. Our standing twist. Inhale here. Exhale, return. Come back through center. Maybe reaching down towards the piece or the peace fingers and thumb reaching towards the big toe. Inhale, lift, bring it out in front. 
maybe out to the side, take a breath. Breathing deep. Exhale, coming back and releasing right foot down. Shake off the arms, shake off the legs. Come back to the back of your mat. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding back down, softening to the knees, bringing the hands out, walking the hands out, coming into plank pose. Strong in plank. Navel draws in. Last bit of heat here. Bringing right hand to left shoulder and back. Left hand to left, uh, to right shoulder back. So you're just switching the hands to the opposite shoulder. Try to keep the hips level. You can be here in kneeling plank. You can be in full plank. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Downward dog. Take a breath. Release through the head, through the body. Shifting forward into plank. Lowering all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, pushing all the way up. And back into our extended child's pose. We'll keep the toes curled under here. This gives you an added stretch into the toes, into the back of the legs. One more breath. Slowly rolling up. Bringing the legs out to one side, coming over onto your bottom, sitting cross-legged, rolling the shoulders back. Just take a moment here, relaxing through those shoulders. right hand out to the side, fingertips just gently on the floor, in your left ear to left shoulder, you can bring your hand to rest on, your left hand to rest on the right side of your head, maybe lifting that right arm just slightly off the floor and then flipping the fingers, the palm out to the side, feeling that stretch, Lengthen through the spine, relax through the shoulders. Bring right hand down, lifting the head, reaching the left arm up, and then gently bending into that right elbow, reaching out that left hand to the right side, full breath here. Inhale, coming all the way up, left hand down, right ear to right shoulder, right hand coming to gently rest on the left side. So just use the, the weight of this hand just to gently guide the ear a little bit closer to the shoulder, lifting the left hand, maybe the palm out to the side. Feel that stretch all the way into the hand, the wrist, the forearm. Breathing deep. Dropping shoulders away from ears as you lengthen through the spine. Now 
releasing that right hand, bring the left hand to the floor, take the right arm up and over. Breathing here. Inhale, coming up. Release your hands, bring them behind you. So you can interlace the hands, roll the shoulders back. So stretch into the chest, into the shoulders. Quite a lot of strength work today. So just notice how you feel. Maybe lean back, slightly opening up through the chest. Exhale, release the hands, bring them in front of you, folding forwards over the legs. Taking a breath here. Trying to soften through the lower back into the hips. Staying here for a few more breaths. Allowing the body to reset the center. Slowly adding those hands back towards the body. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Just bring your hands to rest on top of your knees. Just briefly relaxing through the shoulders, having a little bit of length through the spine. Just pause here for a moment. Feel any sensations in the body, on the skin. And then slowly making your way down onto your back. When you arrive, just get comfortable. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. Feet on the floor, knees up towards the ceiling. And just allow your knees to gently sway from side to side. So again, they don't have to come all the way to the ground. Maybe they do. Feel free to bring the head into the movement as well. Allow your head to turn in the opposite direction of the knees. And again, this is just allowing us to release off through the lower back. Into those hips and legs. Just a great stretch through the left and right side of the body. And then coming back through centre. Just hug those knees in towards your chest, just briefly, give them a little squeeze, maybe wrapping the arms around, lifting the head up towards the knees. And then releasing head back down and then slowly releasing the knees and coming into your shavasana so you can take the feet out long and wide taking a bit of space maybe pushing into the back of the head so you can lift the shoulders drawing them under, and then allowing the arms to open. And arrive here. Observe.
sensations, the fizzing, the energy, perhaps places you can really feel that you've worked. So as I said today, I just changed it up a little bit. A bit more sort of strength working now this morning. Sometimes it's nice just to Add something else to a mix to the recipe. Sometimes it makes it a little bit more spicy. Notice, notice that energy in the body. Just the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. All belly breath. We'll take five more breaths here with each exhale. Just allow your body to soften. There will be places that you're holding that you don't even realise. And we'll release and let go. Next breath in. Just taking the arms all the way up above the head, taking a full stretch. Bending one knee, bending the other. Rolling over onto one side. And then coming all the way back up into a seat. As always, notice how you feel. There's always that different kind of energy at the end of the practice. Maybe you had to drag yourself here this morning. I know that when I got up this morning, there was sense of worry, almost anxiety, and I'm not sure why, but when I did my practice this morning, I felt loads better. So energy came back, released things that I didn't need to hold on to anymore. You don't always have to label those things, it can just be Noticing that something's changed, acknowledging that we let something go without even knowing what that could be. Inhale, bringing the hands out to the side, reaching all the way up. Palms come to touch, bringing the hands down to your heart. From me to you, have a lovely day, the rest of your week. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Namaste.